just uh, putting uh, my old computer up for sale, which isn't terribly old, but uh, it's got a huge, massive, oversized Senti case. I mean, this thing is huge. And as I uh, sit here and take this apart for you, I'm going to give you a quick look at what's inside, just so you know what you're getting, so you're not confused by whatever my ad says. I may not get things accurate, you know, it's a little bit difficult sometimes to find what you're looking for. So, as you can see, large case, a little bit of decoration on it, nothing serious. Uh, on the back panel, huge, huge tons of space. This case is massive. It does have everything you need and more, plus the new USB 3.0s or 3.1s on it, and a pretty large, massive vi uh, video card. <laughs> it's got everything you need. So, looking through here, you just see I just cleaned it up. Uh, pretty good. I blew it all out and wiped things down. I got everything all neat and tidied up for you. Um, as you can see, it's got like fan switches on the top, the silver buttons, or for the fans throughout the case, or you can set them up for whatever fans you want. <coughs> and here you are. <coughs> Huge bay section for hard drives and other bays. I mean, it's just crazy for the amount of space this has. I've got the Republic of Gamers motherboard, the Anta cooler, a uh, liquid cooler. Um, it's got a side bar with fans on it to help keep the video card even cooler if you need to when you work overclocking and whatnot, which is pretty cool because it just slides open. And as you can tell, the board has a ton of space. You can run four video cards synced if you wish. Um, the ma RAM is maxed out. Um, everything is cleaned up and properly tuned. All you really have to do is buy a power supply, put her in, and away you go. There are a ton of fans on this thing, so it's it's a large case. If you're thinking about have, having any issues with overheating, you won't. <laughs> There's more enough room to put fans. As you can see, it's got a pull-out cage, so this way you can just mount your hard drives and from the other side connect everything when you take the back panel off. Um, you just slide the little lever and you can pull out the hard drive. They generally have a sticky lock, so you just have to get a little tug to get it out of there. And here you go. It's a 160 Samsung hard drive. Uh, I'm trying to see where the camera focuses and doesn't focus. I'm not exactly using the best camera for this, but at least you can see, see what's on there. So 160, perfect for an operating system, and then you just use another drive for everything else, unless you just replace the drive altogether with something you like. It does support everything you need. Um, and the CPU has it's updated, everything's updated, the board's updated, BIOS updated, everything is done. All it needs is a power supply and someone to take good care of it. The bays just slide in and out and everything is made user friendly. So if you're adding a ton of drives like I used to have, about 8 terabytes, uh, it's a lot easier than you think just to uh, put things in and take things out. But there you go. Hope you enjoy the view and let me know if you're interested on Kijiji.